Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. And together, we shall make our Biafran dream a reality. The Fulani Caliphate cries out that the emergence of Eastern Security Network is a big blow to their fulanization and Islamization agendas. Fake Buhari on the run as Hausas reject Fulani Janjaweed. Hausas said that they have been deceived so long, but Mazen and the Kano liberated them. According to report, the leader of the Fulani Caliphate, the Sultan of Sokoto, cries out that the emergence of Eastern Security Network is a big blow to their Fulanization and Islamization agenda. And this is the reason they have been or they have applied all kinds of blackmail and propaganda against Eastern Security Network to demoralize them. Fulani bandit terrorists are busy slaughtering unarmed civilians in the Middle Belt. While the compromised Fulani controlled Nigerian security forces remain silent. But in Biafra land, a recent survey revealed that there are more than 300 roadblocks by these same shameless Nigerian security forces extorting money and killing Biafrans. Also, according to reports, there is rising ethnic tension between Hausas and Fulanis. The cultural and ethnic mending of Northern Nigerian Hausas and the Fulani people is so deep so time honored and so unexampled that a fictitious ethnic category called the Hausa Fulani was invented by the Nigerian Southern Press to describe the emergent ethnic alchemy it had produced. Northern intellectuals resented the label at first. For example, the late Dr. Yusuf Bala Usman the professor of history at the Amadou Bello University, who was ethnically Fulani and who was the son of Kastina and Kanu royal families, condemned the hypernation of Hausa and Fulani as both ill willed and ignorant. But several Niger northern Nigerian elites of Hausa and Fulani filiation have now enthusiastically embraced it. Fake Buhari, for instance, told the Weekly Trust in 1999 that he loved the hypernated house of Fulani identity that the Southern Press invented because it encapsulates the complexity of its own identity. His father is Fulani, while his mother is half Kanuri and half Hausa. More than that, though Buhari is culturally and linguistically Hausa, like most people in Nigerian Northwest, who trace their paternal bloodline to Fulani, including most of the Emirs, he does not speak a flick or a lick of Fufude, the Fulani Nigerian language and is completely divorced from the culture of the unmingled Fulani who now live mostly in Nigeria Northeast and in the bushes el elsewhere in the country. Over the years, the Northern political elites not only used the common Islamic heritage of the Hausa and the Fulani people as an instrument to construct and cement the notion of an undivided and indivisible House of Fulani identity. They also encourage other parts of the country to see them as one, undifferentiated people. 
and the time the rest of the country came to regard the house and the Fulani as indistinguishable. A popular quip among the Yoruba says, Gambari, Ba Fulani, Kolejoninu, which roughly translates as if a Hausa person kills a Fulani person, there is no case, implies that the Hausa and Fulani are, are homogeneous people whose internal strive are no more than evanescence, resolvable sibling quarrels, but the emergence and unbeaten intensification of kidnapping for ransom and other forms of rural and urban banditry in the Northwest, where most of the villains are Fulani Janjaweed, and most of the victims are houses, are, are rupturing the century-old ethnic harmony between the Hausa and the Fulanis that Nigerians have taken for granted. In response to the rural and urban banditry, by the Fulani terrorist bandits against the Hausa people. Hausa people have formed vigilante group called Yansakai. But Fulani people said the Jambanga, that is the Hausa self-defense group, often indiscriminately murder innocent Fulani people who are not even remotely connected with the abductions and murderers. What a big lie. This has provoked an unending circle of recriminations and relatory violence between the Hausa and the Fulani people and is threatening the age-old Islam-inspired ethnic fusion between them. My brothers and my sisters, you can see that the Fulani are criminals. And now the houses, their eyes have been opened. The house, their eyes have opened. You know, all the Fulani emirs are all Fulanis. No houses. Most of the Nigerian past leaders are Fulanis except for former head of state Ibrahim Babangida Abdul Salami Abubakar, who are all houses. But the remaining, except Sani Abacha, are Fulani Janjaweed. My brothers and my sisters, you can see that Mazen Amdekanu has always been right. He has liberated the household people, and now they can see the truth. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Bye-bye for now.